In this video, let's take a look at the styling aspect of our components. We've looked at the CSS file that gets generated by the Angular CLI when you create a component along with the HTML and the .ts. There is the CSS file where you can add styling. We tried that out in the first unit. where We added a color to our heading and the color showed up. Seems simple enough, but there is a catch. There is one thing that you need to remember when you're dealing with components. It's the styling doesn't work like you would expect it to. Let me illustrate that. So here is our uh, address component. Let's style this thing, right? So it's, um, look, it looks very bare bones right now. So let me give this um, a class. I call this address card. And uh, I'm gonna give each of these a class. Then I'm gonna go to my CSS. I'm going to style some of these. Okay, so here's our address card component with some basic styling. I realized that the title is not showing up, so I'm assuming there is a problem with the way I'm referring that. Let's take a look. I'm using that title and uh, the user model, it's designation, well that's why. So I'm gonna use designation here and this should show up. Okay, so it does. And this is our styled address card component. Now, here, there are a few things that I'm doing that may cause problems. So you see here, I'm using some very generic class names. You see, I'm using a dot name, dot title, dot address, and dot phone. Usually, you want things to be very specific. You want to say, I'm styling a dot name or a dot title, only if that class happens to be within the address card element. So suppose there is another dot title somewhere else in your HTML. You don't want that to be styled with italic. You want only the dot title which is inside the address card to be styled with italic. Okay, so how do I prevent that from happening? Well, you could use the address card as the top level class selector and then I can do a dot address card and then title. Right? Similarly for name, address, and phone, and all that stuff. But turns out, we don't have to do this in Angular 2 Plus. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say I have this title, right? I've styled title to be italic. Now in my app.component.html, let's say I add a paragraph, class equals title, and a test paragraph here. Press save. So the test paragraph here shows up. Well, here's the surprising thing. So I have class equals title. So this is a paragraph which has a class title. And in my address card CSS, I have styled a dot title to be italic. So this is dot title. This is a class title and it's showing up in italic. But this paragraph, which also happens to be of the same class, is not showing up in italic. This is because the styles that you apply in your component, all the CSS classes that you apply in your uh, component.css file, apply only to the markup inside that component. If I were to take this, um, this thing here, whatever I've added here, inside the address card.component.html, let's say I put that here, guess what? It shows up in italic. It's the same class, but the styling that you apply to the component only applies to the component itself and not to anything else. How does this work? This works because of the way Angular manages styling. So I'm gonna open the developer tools to show you what's going on. So here I'm going to choose the component itself. I select the component. If you look at the styling here, these are styles. You notice that the style dot address card is what we have rendered, what we have written, the dot address card, it has border and padding, which is great. 
But you notice there is an additional style appended to this thing. It's not just data discard. It's data discard and there's also this property that's included in the styling. We didn't add this, but it just got added when the rendered HTML is examined. Similarly, if you look at name, I'm gonna click on name here. We have in the component, H1 class equals name, and in our style sheet, we have dot name, which has a font family. Well, guess what? Dot name with this extra appended thing is what renders. Where is this thing coming from? All of these names seem to have this underscore ng content dash something, okay? So if you open this, um, your HTML as well, you see here, it gets appended to the HTML as an extra attribute, and then the styling has that extra attribute. Well, this is Angular trying to insulate the styling that we are applying only to that component. It's intentional. The design that the Angular team uh, chose when it comes to styling of your components is they wanted developers to be able to style the component, add styling, not having to worry about if it breaks some other component. This is a big problem if you're building a complex front-end application. You add a style like name and you change something, there are gonna be a hundred different things in your application which have the class called name. It's dangerous to add styling like this. So what front-end developers usually do is wrap it into another class, make it a bit more specific in their selectors so that only the element that they intend to apply uh, gets applied with that styling. But with Angular, you don't have to do this. Angular by default creates some attributes for your components and then whatever styling you have for that component, it adds the same attribute to the styling as well. So these styles apply only to that component and not to anything else. So this is something that I really appreciate because it's very really hard to manage your styling in CSS when you have a really complex application. You have a whole lot of similar elements that have similar styling names. And especially if you have a big team working on an application, you have to be very particular about what the selectors uh, you're gonna be using. Uh, but in the case of Angular, Angular component styling, you don't have to worry about it. This begs the question, well, what happens if you really need a global style? What if you wanna have some styling applied across all components? Well, you don't wanna put it inside each and every CSS file in each and every component, that's gonna be painful. So in order to do that, you have this global styles at the root of your project called styles.css. See here, it's at the root, it's inside the app. Well, it's outside the app folder actually, it's inside the SRC folder here, see this? Styles.css, and this has been generated by Angular, and uh, it's also had it added this friendly comment that says you can add global styles to this file you can also import other style files. So you can break this down into multiple files if you want, import it into your CSS file here, or you can just add your global styles here. And whatever style you apply here is gonna to apply to all the components. But if you're adding styling to your component.css file, it is going to apply only to that component. And we looked at how Angular manages it. It manages it by creating extra selectors and uh, it adds the attribute to the HTML and it adds the same attribute to the CSS of that component so that they apply only to each other and everything else is completely indifferent to the styling that you've applied to that component.